Hello everyone, Alex here from the Retro Review. Today, uh, we'll be going over um, uh, OG Xbox Live. As of today, um, Insignia has uh, released its um, its um, setup utility. Um, to allow for it to interface with the Insignia Live, uh, servers. So, I'm going to, um, uh, walk you guys through, um, what you need to do, um, to, um, get, get started, uh, with OG Xbox Live. In 2022. It's very exciting. And there's... There's a, ha a couple handful of games that are going to be supported on launch. Uh, one of which is Counter-Strike. Uh, which is one of the games that I happen to have in my collection. Now, before we begin, uh, my console is already soft-modded. So all I had to do was FTP over the uh, setup utility. So let's begin. Just need to grab my controller here real quick. So in my case, I've got a um, uh, the FTP client. I've, I've got, um, I use XBMC for Xbox, uh, as my, uh, main soft mod dashboard of choice, um, but if you want to use something like Evo X, or e Evolution X, um, you can do that too, uh, I recommend, if you're wanting to soft mod your console, um, you're going to need a regular copy of Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, or probably just about any copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Um, link uh, to the Insignia Live website uh, with the tutorial on how to get started with it uh, will be linked in the description below. Um, so, I guess I'll have to stop this, uh, video of showing my face here, um, just to go, just so we went, went over things here, so I can actually get to the meat and potatoes. So, I'll be right, right back. So, what you're going to want to do is, um, basically, you want to go to your file manager. Now, like I said, I'm soft-modded. So you're going to want to either soft mod your console or uh, just if you want to keep it stock, you're going to want to run um, the an exploit to then you'd switch over to uh, the uh, a setup utility disk that of which there's an image for that you can burn to a disk and from there. Um, you can run, you can run the setup utility from there from a stock console. You don't even have to soft mod in order to get it, it set up with Insignia, which is really nice. It's just a bit involved for a lot of people, and I just want to throw that out there before we begin. Now, I've already run the utility, but I'm going to show you what you simply just need to do from there. It's very simple, very straightforward. So I'm going to go to my file explorer here. And you see that I have an E in the F drive. Now, I saved it to my F drive. So I'm going to go there. So if you soft modded with your original hard drive you're going to only have an e an e drive so in my case i'm going to go to the f drive 
we're gonna go to applications or wait it's programs yeah it's in programs my bad uh, I'm sorry if my uh, camera skills aren't that great I'm recording with my iPad right now so it's kind of unwieldy to work with so I apologize for that so we're gonna go programs And you're gonna, and we're gonna go to the Insignia Live Setup Assistant folder here. So I'm going to set this down right here as best I can. Once we run this utility, it'll look a lot like a Nintendo Switch application. Now this is just a design choice on the behalf of the developers, and I, I honestly like this look. It really brings the Xbox to a mo to the modern era era. So there are a few things that you can do here. You can register your console. You can troubleshoot if you're having problems. Clear your ticket cache if that's causing you some issues. You can view your HDD key if that's, if that's something that you need to do before you upgrade your hard drive. Um, view the credits of, the, of everything. And then you can just quit out of the setup assistant. So in order to uh, get set up with Insignia, you're going to want to reg register your console. Now, when it comes to interfacing with their servers, not all ISPs are going to work out of the gate. Um, one of which I re recall hearing that uh, people have had issues with is, um, what was it? One of them actually engages in like DNS poisoning or something, which is very weird. Not 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 all ISPs are um, are bad though. Um, in my case, I've got AT and T, um, Uverse, so they don't block DNS uh, static DNSs. So. So it, it just depends on your ISP. Some more work probably has to go into it to get it to connect. But um, once you register your console, it's just like registering. It's, then you just go through and create an account like you would originally like you did back in the day. So really, that's all that I really need to show you guys. Um... But yeah, if you guys um, enjoyed and found this informative, please do like it, share it, and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.